Lehigh head coach Brett Reed, the number two seed in Mountain Hawk, will face number seven Colgate in the quarterfinal round at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Lehigh enters the tournament at 23 and 7 overall, setting a school record for victories, and went 11 and 3 in Patriot League play. Uh, Coach Reed, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome everybody to the conference call. Happy to be here. It's an exciting time. As you head into postseason play, we've uh, accomplished a non-conference schedule, a very competitive conference schedule, and now look into the time where everybody kind of really focuses their attention, and that's postseason play with the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament being uh, first and foremost in so many people's minds. Congratulations to Bucknell to be uh, to have won the regular season championship and uh, the major award winners, including Brian Cohen from there uh, as a, a tremendous defender. Dave Paulson is a wonderful coach. Uh, also major award winners as well as uh, Justin Burrell doing a, a very good job uh, at a very young stage in his career for a surging Holy Cross team. Hi, Brett. It's Tom House. Good morning, Call. How are you? Good morning, Tom. Can you talk about uh, having to beat a team like Colby a third time and what uh, what concerns you most about their team? Well, we've had some uh, actually very competitive games with them uh, where we've had to rely on um, impressive runs to be able to provide a little bit of distance uh, in order for the final outcome. And in each of our first two matchups, we've seen different players from them really step up and and play very well. Brandon James in the first game at Colgate and Pat Moore in the second game. Uh, both shot very well in those games. And we've got to make sure that uh, you know we continue to put our focus in, our, on, the, in on the defensive end uh, and have an element of consistency in that end, which will really help us. And, uh, you know, obviously Colgate is a team that has players that can get hot. They have a, a number of guys who can shoot from the three-point line. They have some interior size that they can utilize. Um, and they have some experience with guys who have uh, at least played together for a little while as well. Brett, uh, Tom Hinkle from Express Times. How are you? Good morning, Tom. Um, Holden Griner's minutes have been greatly reduced the last couple of weeks with that ankle. How, how much is that bothering him? Well, I think it's been a factor for him. He hasn't necessarily fully recovered to the, to the stage that uh, he was at earlier in the year. Um, it will be important for our team or it would be wonderful for our team if he could continue to kind of get back to the pace that he had set in our non-conference schedule. That's truly when he was at his best basketball, and we haven't seen quite that same element of him uh, in league play, which is, is disappointing. But our team has evolved um, with kind of his production falling off a little bit. I think John Adams has done a wonderful job for us. Our senior class on the whole has done uh, a terrific job kind of stepping in, being relatively inexperienced overall for their career um, but it would be a wonderful addition to get Holden playing to the level that he was um, and, uh, and hopefully healthy once again Hello uh, Ed, uh, Ken McMillan of the Times All Record Hey Ken Hey, Ed. Um, I, I know you're not playing Army in the first round, but you just saw them on Saturday. Uh, can you just sort of give me a feel for how Army's playing, and could they be a tough out in this tournament? Absolutely. I think Army is a talented team. And I, I think if you look across the board uh, in the Patriot League, there's been a number of teams that have really stepped up and demonstrated their ability to play quality basketball. And, uh, you know, Army was a team that was, was a very difficult game for us. Uh, we had to muster everything we had to be able to pull out that victory on the road. And uh, I think, you know, at this time of the year, any and every team is dangerous because all of these young men are playing in a one-and-done situation that adds a, a lot of pressure to the, to the situation for both teams. And, you know, certain teams have the ability to step up and play very well. I don't think across our league there's many teams that you would say, well, there, there's absolutely no chance that they'd have to win. I think with the nature of college basketball and the number of upsets that uh, that everyone has seen, uh, I think that there is a uh, very competitive balance and opportunity for a lot of teams. So, uh, Brett, can you share a few words about Ella Ellis and what kind of player he is? Well, Ella Ellis is a difficult cover uh, on the defensive end because of his length and his perimeter shooting ability. Um, Army does a wonderful job of putting him in situations 
where he can be successful utilizing the three-point line, also utilizing his speed and athleticism. Uh, his length can also be a factor on the defensive end of the floor as well. Uh, I think he's a, an excellent player and, and certainly um, you know, very happy for him with his all-league selection. And lastly, can you just add a few words about CJ's uh, Player of the Year award? Very pleased for CJ. Uh, we've seen a, a little bit more of an evolution in his game this year from being someone who is a, a gifted and wonderful scorer last year, but someone who has uh, made a greater commitment to share the basketball on our team and make the players around him better. Because of that, his field goal percentage is up, his assist numbers are up, our team overall performance is up, and the confidence that other people have around him has begun to excel, uh, especially because of the trust and confidence that he puts in them.